Hi, my name is Chris. Today I'm going to show you how to install your 20 and 40 GPM Grunfoss integrated VFD pump. Let's start with the 20 GPM pump. Mark the location of the bracket holes and drill the appropriate holes in the wall for the fasteners being used. Insert the mounting hardware and secure the bracket to the wall. Tighten the hardware with a wrench or an impact driver and socket. Lift the pump onto the bracket. Please be aware that this pump is 130 pounds. Secure the front bracket with two bolts provided. Note the wall mount bracket has been tapped and threaded so the nuts are not needed. Align the pump mounting holes with the pre-drilled holes in the mounting bracket. Insert the four bolts through the holes and use the locking nuts to tighten. Remove the upper filter housing prior to threading onto the pump. Thread in the brass fitting end of the filter assembly to the bottom or inlet side of the pump and tighten with a wrench. Inlet filter assembly is designed to flow in one direction. Place the hose clamp provided over the 1 inch inlet hose and install on the hose barb as shown. Tighten the clamp until secure on the hose barb. That completes the installation of your 20 GPM pump. Connect three phase power to the disconnect box and turn power on. Now let's move to the 40 GPM. Mark the location of where you want the pump mounted, pre-drill holes for fasteners, and insert mounting hardware. Remove the filter from the strainer and thread the strainer onto the inlet side of the pump and tighten with the wrench or pliers. Now reinstall your filter and tighten by hand. Thread the manifold for outlet hoses onto the outlet side of the pump and tighten with the wrench or pliers. Thread the manifold outlet hoses onto the outlet side of the pump and tighten with the wrench or pliers. Connect three phase power to the disconnect box and turn power on. Open ball valve to allow water to flow to the pump. From your pump's home screen, use the arrow buttons to navigate to operating mode. Press OK and then select Max. Next, open the bleeder screw and let it bleed for two minutes. After two minutes, close the bleeder screw. When pump finishes bleeding, return to normal operating mode. Connect the fitting and the ball valve to the inlet fitting on the panel, then open the ball valve. That completes the installation of your 40 GPM pump. If you have any questions or want to learn more about these pumps, please contact us by email at hello at hydroflexinc.com or by phone at 952-808-3640. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for other helpful videos.